Agenda item 7B is the request for an additional deputy coroner from Coroner Austin Fivash. Mr. Fivash, you want to come forward and make that request? Good morning. Good morning. Hardy, I know I just walked right in here. <laughs> uh, so this is a <clears throat> request for an additional deputy coroner currently, and I don't know if you guys uh, sent in the code statute that requires this. and. Um, so <clears throat> Georgia law allows for as many deputy coroners as, as needed, um, but any position after one would uh, require the governing authority's approval. We currently have one deputy coroner, so that's myself and one other. Um, we run into some issues there when one of the other of us may be out of town, vacation, sick, uh, unavailable. It puts us down to having only one person. Uh, unfortunately, in this line of work, a lot of times we see things kind of come in waves um, and we found ourselves in the past um, with only one person being available to respond and then having multiple calls for service at once. Um, we do have mutual aid agreements with surrounding counties. <clears throat> we have and will continue to use um, other corners from surrounding counties. A couple of issues with that. Um, one is it takes them a while to get there. Obviously, they're responding from their respective county, whether that be Cook County, Eccles County, Brooks County, et cetera. Uh, and then also, once they get into our county, they don't really have access to uh, our facilities. And so it, it just kind of hinders, um, hinders the way that they can service our community. So um, in, in this situation uh, here in Lowndes County, coroners and deputy coroners are paid uh, per fee or per investigation. Um, so at the end of the day, the cost to the county really doesn't um, go up. This is not a uh, salary position. There's no benefits, insurance, things of that nature uh, extended to deputy coroners. They are just paid per call. Um, so uniforms, uh, equipment, supplies, things of that nature is not assigned to an individual person. It's all shared uh, within the department. So there's, in essence, not not really much of a cost that I can think of uh, going going forward with the county as far as that's concerned. Um, Y'all have any questions? So you don't need any. You don't. You won't need any new equipment. To no, sir. Uh, everything that we've got now is, is either, you know, it will suffice and it is shared throughout whoever would be on call. Um, so there's really no. Um, no, no other equipment. Uh, in the future, we've got a couple people currently uh, in the area that have already been through the class, the training class, um, and are already certified. So that cost of education is already taken care of. Uh, in the future, if you know, if you look to put somebody um, else in there, then you know you, we may would have to pay to send them up to school. But uh, currently, we've got some options that will um, allow us to move forward and, and put somebody in there uh, that's already certified. So, who is your current deputy? Uh, Tommy Willis is, is the current Tom. Is a, yeah. What's the average number of calls y'all are responding to? Uh, so there's about there's a little over a thousand deaths a year in Lowndes County. Um, unfortunately, a lot of those, most of those, are reported to our office. Um, Georgia statute uh, kind of dictates what is and is not a coroner's call. Uh, so on average, out of those one thousand, we run about four hundred of them as as investigations or as coroner. Any other questions for the coroner? Thank you. Thank you all.